Hi, everybody, and welcome to Room 9, the region's largest classroom. And boys and girls, you just caught me. I was doing something that I don't normally do, all right? As you know, my name is Mrs. Brewer, and I am a third grade teacher in the East St. Louis School District. And I am here today to teach you a third grade lesson in math. You're exactly right. So you got a plus sign, a minus sign. We may be learning about this sign today, boys and girls, if you don't know yet. All right. So, boys and girls, I kind of have a problem today, and I was hoping maybe that you would be able to help me out. You see, I got all these sunflowers in, and they are one of my favorite, favorite flowers, boys and girls. And I have two sunflowers in all of these vases here. And I can't figure out, boys and girls, how many sunflowers I have in all. Can you help me? Great, boys and girls, because I was having a very sunny day until someone asked me, how many sunflowers do you have? And I had to say, you know what? I really don't know. So I've been trying to find a way to find out how many sunflowers I have in all. Is there a key word there, boys and girls, that might help you figure out what I could do to find my sunflowers? Oh, what was that you said? You're right, I did say how many sunflowers in all. So what do we know those two words, in all me, boys and girls? What do I have to try to find then? You are exactly right. In all means, I have to try to find the total, all right? So let me tell you this whole situation I got going on here, boys and girls, that you probably can't see, okay? So right now, boys and girls, I have four vases. Okay, and I'm going to draw them here. You know, Ms. Brewer's not the best drawer, right? Okay, so I have four vases. Looks just like the vases I have here. I have square kind of shaped vases here. Look like a cube, boys and girls, okay? So I have four vases. And do you remember how many sunflowers do I have in each vase? I'll give you a hint. You're right, I have two, okay? So boys and girls, in this vase, there's two, right? And in this one, there's how many? Right, two. And here there's also two. And here there is, you're right, boys and girls, there are two sunflowers in all of my bases, okay? Would you agree? Would this be a good representation or a model of what I have going on here in front of me, boys and girls? You're right, it would be, wouldn't it? What did you say? Oh, well, what would happen if I would put all those boxes together? Have you ever seen anything like this, boys and girls? I'm hoping that you have, okay? And it looks very similar to my vases, okay? What is this called here, boys and girls? Do you know? Oh, you're right. Did anybody say it looks like a diagram? You're right, it is a diagram. Oh, it's windy, my, my um, eraser is blown away there, boys and girls, okay? You're right, it does look like a diagram. What kind of diagram is this, do you know? You're right, if you said a bar diagram, and I've also heard these boys and girls called a tape diagram, okay? So these are my vases. What does a two represent or stand for again? You're right, the number of sunflowers. I just like holding it up. Aren't they so pretty? And they match today. You're right, they represent how many sunflowers, boys and girls, that I have, right? So all I did was take these vases, put them together here in my tape diagram, right? 
So now, boys and girls, I'm trying to figure out, and I can't draw these brackets, so bear with me, okay? How many sunflowers do I have in all? How can I find in all? What do we know in all means to do? You're right when you said the total, okay? So what do I need to do to find that total? You're right, boys and girls. Anytime I hear in all, I'm going to write in all. I wish I had that little echo voice. You hear in all, right? It usually means that I have to add, okay? So what would my equation be here, boys and girls, to figure out how many sunflowers I have total or in all. You're right, I'd have to add all my twos up, right? So I'd have two plus two plus two plus two equals, right? Is there a way, boys and girls, I could check what I have? I can count how many bases did I have? One, two, three, four, right? How many twos do I have? One, two, three, four twos, right? Because I know each base has how many sunflowers? You're right, two, okay? So how could I solve this? Is there a trick with using twos? Oh, I heard someone say I could just skip count. Has anybody ever skip counted before? Okay, so when we skip count, do we have to say all of the numbers? No. When we skip count, what would be a good number to skip count or count by to solve this problem? You are exactly right. I can just skip count by twos or count by twos, right? So I'd have to start with two, four, right? Six. Okay, and eight. All right, so if we count, skip count it by twos. I had four twos, right? So I can put up four fingers and I can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, right? Isn't that what we just did? Okay, or looking at this and say two plus two is what? You're right, two plus two is four plus two is six, right? Six plus two equals eight. So did we just use a couple different ways to get to the same answer? You're right, boys and girls, I did. But that's a lot of twos I just wrote down, isn't it? My hand is sure tired from putting all these flowers in the vases. And now having to write all these twos, there's got to be a simpler way, boys and girls. Can you think of a simpler way to help me find out how many sunflowers I have in all? Somebody said it. It has to do with this symbol right here, boys and girls. And what is this called? Stay into the middle of it. It is called multiplication. Who said that? You get a flower, and you get a flower, and you get one too. For saying multiplication. Great job, boys and girls. So here's my question now. So I know when I had four bases of two sunflowers. I could draw a model, right? Here are my four bases with two in it, right? I know I could even draw a tape diagram. I said I could just put them together and make my tape diagram, right? But what would my equation for multiplication be? Do you know, boys and girls? If you don't, that's okay. That's why I'm here, okay? So for multiplication, 
we can use it when we work with equal groups. We just got done working with equal pieces for fractions, right? So in multiplication, we're going to keep that equal mindset, all right? So multiplication wouldn't work if I had two flowers in this space, six in this one, 19 here, and 520 here, okay? They're not equal, so it would not work. Multiplication will only work when I have an equal number of groups, okay? Four groups of two. Each group here has two flowers, right? So when I write my multiplication equation, first I'm going to figure out how many groups do I have. Boys and girls, how many groups do I have right here? You're exactly right. I have four groups. So that's going to be the first part of my equation. It's going to be four. Okay? So now I know I have four groups. Now I'm going to figure out of, and anytime we say of, boys and girls, here for multiplication, four groups of, I'm going to write my multiplication symbol. And it just looks like an X. Okay? So I know I have four groups of, and how many are in each group, boys and girls? You're right, there are two. So I had four bases of two flowers, right? Four bases of two, okay? So how do you think I could solve this multiplication equation? Well, you're right, boys and girls. If you look up above, I have one way I could have solved this. And that is by repeated addition. So if you look at my addition problem above, I'm still trying to solve for the same thing, aren't I? How many flowers in all, right? So I took two flowers, right, in each vase. And how many vases did I have? You're right, four. So on this problem right here to solve it, I wrote two how many times? Four, right? So here's one, two, two twos, three twos, and four twos. You're exactly right, boys and girls. Okay? And notice repeated addition. What happens if we repeat? Well, you're right. When we repeat, we do it over and over and over again. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. We're adding repeatedly, aren't we? The same number. Okay? So this is one strategy to help solve a multiplication problem, is using repeated addition. But today, boys and girls, is all about you. I mean, not you. It's all about 2. Okay? So... Anytime I multiply a number by 2, it's our doubles, okay? So we wrote our problem using repeated addition as 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, but I also could have written it as 4 plus 4. See that? Oops. Maybe you don't. <laughs> See this here? I also could have written it as 4 plus 4. And I keep erasing this, boys and girls. I'm so sorry. 4 plus 4. Would that be repeated addition? Would that still be the same as 4 times 2? Because I took the 4, and how many times did I add 4? How many 4s do I have? 1, 2, right? So anytime, boys and girls, we multiply by Two, we're just doing our double, okay? So what is four plus four? You're right, that equals eight. You are so smart. So four times two also has to equal what? You're right, eight. So anytime we see times two, I know I just want to do my double. And so to practice doubles today, boys and girls, I need everybody up on your feet. 
Everybody up on your feet? Let me see you on your feet. Okay. So I am going to give you a double, and I want you to do this exercise that many times, okay? All right. So we're going to start out with jumping jacks. I want you to do five plus five jumping jacks. You ready? Five plus five. On your mark, get set, go. Woo, how many did we do? What's five plus five? You're right, we should have done 10. Five plus five is 10. Great job, boys and girls. All right, next one. We're gonna do some lunges. I want you to go from side to side, okay? Kind of get that low rock from side to side. You ready? I need you to do three plus three lunges. On your mark, get set, go. How many do we have to do? Three plus three is six. Great job, boys and girls. All right, next one. I want you to touch your toes this time. Ready? I want you to do six plus six. All right, times. Ready? We're going to touch our toes six plus six times. Go. How many do we do? Six plus six is what? Uh, 12, great job, high five. All right, let's get back to multiplying by two. Wait, were we multiplying by two just then? Huh, so if we took five plus five, that's the same as what? Five plus five is the same as five times two. What was five plus five? You're right, 10. Okay, then we did three plus three lunges, right? How many lunges did we do? That's the same as what? Three times two. How many lunges did we do? You're right, three plus three is six. And now, boys and girls, when we did our toe touches, do you remember what we did for toe touches? You are right, we did six plus six, right? And that's the same as what equation? You're right, six times two. And what is six times two? What was six plus six? You're right, it was 12. Did you realize, boys and girls, you just did three multiplication problems? Pretty simple, wasn't it? You didn't even know you were multiplying, right? Good job, good job, boys and girls. All right, so let's get back to this multiplying by two business, okay? So what happens now, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Not only, boys and girls, do I have sunflowers, but today is my anniversary, and I also have roses from my husband today, boys and girls, all right? So I have eight vases with two roses in each of my vases, boys and girls. Do you think you could draw one of those bar diagrams that I just had to help me find out how many roses I had? You think you could? All right, so I had eight vases with two roses, okay? Boys and girls, I'm gonna give you two minutes to see if you can draw a bar diagram and write a multiplication equation that matches your diagram. You think you can do that in two minutes? All right, boys and girls, your time starts now. Eight vases 
and each vase has two roses. I want to see if you can draw a bar diagram for me and write a multiplication equation to help solve it. Eight bases, two roses, two minutes. Not anymore. Minute and a half. I need to get some good state music, don't I, boys and girls? Are you tired of just hearing me talk? Well, next time I'll have some state music. That's a good idea. All right, we go down to one more minute, one minute warning. You're drawing a paste diagram, bar diagram, for eight vases. Each vase has two roses in it. Okay. And then you're going to write a multiplication equation for it. Okay, eight vases, two roses. You've got about 30 seconds. Needs the visual. Each vase has two roses. Right, time's running up, boys and girls. Time's running out. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. What's your bar diagram look like? Does it look like mine? Well, let's see. How many squares should I have? You're exactly right, boys. I should have eight. Do I have eight? You're right. I do. Or I better. <laughs> right? Okay. So each box represents a vase. And the two represents how many roses are in each vase, right? So what equation did you come up with, boys and girls? Does it match mine? Great job. I have eight groups, right, or eight vases of, that's where my multiplication sign comes in, of two, right? Eight vases of two roses. Eight times two equals, well, what's my double here, boys and girls? Which number do I need to double? Do I need to double the eight or do I need to double the two? You're right, it's the eight. It's whatever number I'm multiplying two by. Okay, the only time we would ever use two is if our problem was two plus two. So to solve this, I'm gonna use my double eight plus eight. And what is eight plus eight, boys and girls? You're right, 16. Eight times two equals what? 16, you are so smart. If you can do your doubles, you can do your twos. If you can do your doubles, you can do your twos. All right, so boys and girls, our last little bit of time we have here, we're gonna be working a lot with multiplication, a lot this week and the next upcoming week. And then we're gonna get into the inverse operation of division. But Ms. Brewer has a trick to make division a piece of boys and girls. All right, let's try some fast math facts here at the end. You ready? I'm going to put up a problem. I want to see if you can solve it, okay? Yo, I got a problem. I need you to solve it. All right, ready? Okay, sure you're ready? First problem is two times two. Think of those doubles. What'd you get? Two plus two is four. Great job, boys and girls, or our doubles. Two times two is four. We're just doubling it, okay? Let's try another one here, boys and girls. Two times seven, go. See how good we are with our doubles today. Two times seven. You're right, if you said 14, who got it? Who got that? Who got that right? Awesome job. Give me a high five. All right. Next one. You ready? 
Ready? Oops. I'll give you the answers that were wrong. All right, go. Two times nine. You are right if you said 18. We know it's the same as doing what? Nine plus nine. If we're doubling it, two times nine is the same as nine plus nine. And nine plus nine is what? 18. Follow well, this to the two. They're just doubling it. All right, you ready to get a little harder? Oh, I think you need a little harder. All right, two times 10. You are right if you said 20. What's 10 plus 10? 20. You got it, boys and girls. All right. Let me get a little harder here. What's 2 times 12? You are right if you said 24. All I did was took 12 plus 12. 2 plus 2 is 4. 10. 110 plus 110 is 10. You got it. All right, last one, boys and girls. Let's see if you can get this one. You ready? 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 2 times 11. You are right, boys and girls. If you said a 22. All right, boys and girls, you are rocking these twos. Don't think a twos is hard. You know your doubles. You got your doubles, so you know your twos, okay? All right, boys and girls, it has once again been double my pleasure to be here. See what I did there? See what I did there? And it's time for me to go because I've got a lot of flowers that I need to start putting together, boys and girls. Get some more. All right. Have a good night. I will see you back here tomorrow. More multiplication fun. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.